Minutes of recess every day. That's what one state legislator thinks schools should give to students. Yeah, now he wants the General Assembly to pass a law requiring that time. As Fox 5's Claire Sims reports tonight from the state capitol, the bill has met some resistance in the Senate. Members of the House of Representatives overwhelmingly approved the recess bill several days ago. But now, members of the Senate say they want to make some changes. 30 minutes of exercise stimulates the brain. It increases math and science scores. State Representative Demetrius Douglas presents his recess bill to the Senate Education and Youth Committee Monday afternoon. House Bill 273 would require schools to give kindergarten through fifth grade students an average of 30 minutes of recess each day, preferably outside. That's my biggest thing. I'm just trying to get the kids moving. The Stockbridge Democrat and former University of Georgia linebacker says exercise is more important now than ever with the high rates of childhood obesity in our state and across the country. And he believes teachers should not be allowed to take recess away from students as punishment. I have so many kids come up to me and say, hey, it's the same two kids every day that, that, that keeps us from going to recess. And she said, Representative Douglas, the teacher knows these kids are going to do this every day. But the whole c class is punished because of two kids. And that's not fair. The bill has the support of the Professional Association of Georgia Educators. But Senator Lindsey Tippins of Marietta wants to change the language from schools shall give 30 minutes to say schools should strive for it. I don't want it to be a clear-cut mandate that it's going to be a, a true average that if you miss 30 minutes today, you're going to have to make it up before the end of the week. Some fear that those proposed changes would take the teeth out of the bill. That Senate committee should look at a revised version soon. Reporting at the state capitol, Claire Sims, Fox 5 News.